Hey, what's up everybody? We're back today with another unique item find video. This time we are out in Frostback Basin with the Jaws of Hacken DLC hunting down the vestments of the Dragon Hunter. Now in order to find this piece of armor, you're going to need to complete the quest on a Meriden's Trail, which you get right when you get out into Frostback Basin. When you finish that up, you're going to go back to Stone Bear Hold. And when you get to Stone Bear Hold, you're going to talk to the Thane, and she's going to give you the quest Lead the Charge. If she doesn't, that means you still have the quest Storvoker Caged open, and you need to go finish that quest so they get their bear back. And when they get their bear back, uh, they will then give you the quest Lead the Charge. So once you get the quest Lead the Charge, it's going to send you into the Old Temple. Once you get to the end of the Old Temple and you kill Gerd Harrison. Before you exit, you're going to find this chest. So go ahead and loot the chest, and inside you will find your vestments of the Dragon Hunter. Now there are a couple things to mention here. The armor that you find will be specific to your class. So you can see I'm a mage, and I found light armor. If you're a rogue, you're going to find medium armor. If you're a warrior, you're going to find heavy armor. The armor number obviously goes up with the tier of armor so if it's medium armor it's gonna have something like 270 ish if it's you know heavy armor it's gonna be above that probably another three uh, thirty or whatever but uh, those numbers will change per class and then the stats you see here do change just a little bit and what do I mean by that so the armor rating is a little bit variable um, this is my second playthrough with my mage through this and the first time I got 244 armor rating 51 magic defense, and then 4% chance to cast fear on hit. This time I got 245, 55 magic defense, and 5% chance to cast fear on hit. I mentioned this for two reasons. One, we all know that the armor rating and the damage of uh, unique items can vary when you pick it up. However, the stats usually are identical on all items. However, this item specifically, I can tell you, those stats do vary. I've seen it. It's even different when I picked it up on my Rogue. So that's something to keep an eye out for. Uh, you may want to uh, you know, test it across different playthroughs and see what you're finding, but uh, those are the results that I have uh, come across. So we'll go ahead and pick this up and equip it. and let you see what it looks like here. So honestly, I have to say, uh, my three favorite armors in the game now are this armor, um, the dragon armor that came with the uh, digital deluxe edition, and the uh, Templar armor. Uh, definitely three badass looking armors. Uh, you can obviously craft Templar and the dragon armor. Unfortunately, you cannot. There is no pattern to craft the vestments of the dragon hunter. Hopefully that will be forthcoming because that is one badass looking piece of armor and I would love to put uh, better stats on it than the ones that are on it right now. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Take care.